Brian Williams and John Walker here with Heat TV, uh, except you'll notice the more observant amongst you that I haven't I got John say. Walker with me. I've got Gary Napper. Thank oh, you, John Gary, for, for standing in for John. He uh, had to rush off at the end of the game. He was so excited by the close finish that <laughs> he had to, go, had to go, and go home and have a lie down. Yeah, I nearly went myself. So what did, <laughs> what did you make of that then, Gary? Well, the opening of the game, I was really worried for a second because Rox got the ball straight from the tip, drove yep. straight to the basket, put it away, and I was thinking, no, come on, but... Luckily, Heat responded, basket after basket, and we got a nice lead ahead, so Which I was, I was quite happy with that. Then the Rock seemed to claw it back in the third, and again, I was oh, sitting in the back, just grinding my teeth, come on, don't let it go, and then that last minute, I was like, <sighs> would have liked to have seen the, like, the Heat score with the basket on that last couple of seconds, so that really would have nailed it home, and it was like, a, at one point, it was a really impressive dunk from Mike, just slammed it in, it was oh, like, yeah. there we go, that's done. Yeah. But yeah, it was a it was it was a win, and yes. it was a little closer than I would have liked it. Yeah, so it was one it was one of those games. I mean, after the first quarter, I, I really did think we were we were going to blow it out because the Rocks had played uh, this weekend as well, and they were down to effectively six active players. They had a seventh guy come off the bench for about three minutes. They you know they they've lost their top scorer, they've lost both their point guards, they've mm. lost their reserve reserve point guard who got injured last night. Mm. And against a team like that, I really thought we should. You know, we should have put a 10, 20 point win on them, but we just seemed to lose our way between the really the second and third quarters. The Rocks got back in the lead, and then that, yeah. that at least the one thing we can say is we kept our composure. Those were the games that we were losing yeah, yeah. early this season. It was one of those games where you feel like you know the, it was the it was the free throw shooting from the line, the you know the free shots that actually made it. It was yeah. very solid shooting from Taylor it, and Mike, yeah. just putting them away consistently. I like yeah. that. It was good. Yeah, we were 17 of 20 from the line, which has been our Achilles heel in in previous mm -hmm. games. In fact, when we were up against the best three throw shooting team in the mm -hmm. league in the Rocks. They, they shoot normally 75% and I think they had an off day today and we, we really did shoot the ball well from the line. I don't know if it's the stats support it, but I did see uh, a quite, quite a lot of early threes. That are quite, I'm always a big fan of the three point shots, so seeing them rain it was good. First, so. first quarter, yeah, yeah, we were making good threes. The Rocks were playing very much a sagging zone and we had a lot of uh, open opportunities with the three. And then really they, they started to close us down and we went we went back to our old ways of missing lots of threes. I think we ended up with four of seventeen. Mm. And I I wouldn't I'd be surprised if, you know, three of those hadn't come in the first quarter. Yeah, I was I was, I was really impressed with the Rocks defence. They had arms everywhere, yeah. intercepting shots. They really, really yeah. locked the heat they down for a lot. They really did. And we made I think we did what we often do, which was we tried to overcomplicate it. We tried to make the killer pass instead of the simple pass. And yeah, the number of times the Rocks picked it off, they had the hands in the air. You know, and it's simple stuff. I remember, I won't say how many years ago, I embarrassed myself, but doing basketball in school, you know, you're always told, hands up on defence, because it just makes it more difficult. And the number of times we tried to pass it over a Rocks player, or around a Rocks player, and they didn't reach out and take the ball, they just had the hand up in the passing lane, and they got the deflection. Mm. So, you know, simple things. Mm. I would have liked to have seen EJ play, but he's away from a family illness at the moment. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, yeah. Been, it's been a disappointing season for EJ. Uh, for those of you who don't know, EJ Harrison, a uh, very popular point guard, used to play for the Heat. Now in his second season with the Rocks, he missed a, a ton of games uh, with an injury. Then he came back, and now, unfortunately, his father's quite ill, so he's, he's, he's had to miss a couple of games. And yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen EJ. My dad's a big fan of his uh, crossover dribbles. So yeah. Oh, is EJ playing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, EJ, yeah he's, he's a, and he's a lovely guy. And we wish him well, and we wish his father well. And, and you know, send our wishes to you, EJ, and hopefully see you back on court next year. So, any final closing thoughts, Gary? Um, not really. I mean, it was. I'm still quite shocked from still the end of the game. From, just, yeah, just, yeah, I mean, it was. It was that, that, those last couple of seconds where it all could have gone wrong, and they just held it together, kept yeah. strong enough. You know, the other team kept fouling the play to kind of move the ball to the air end, but the uh, solid, solid uh, line shooting put yep. it back. So those of you who didn't make it, you missed another thrilling game. Um, uh, we're next here in two weeks' time when we host the Durham Wildcats, and we've got two more home games to the end of the season. So we hope to see you all there in two weeks' time. Thank you, Gary. Thank you.